Yo, so I have to put this disclaimer in front of all my videos in order for YouTube not to take them down. So, you must be 18 years of age or older to watch them. Enjoy. Yo, what's good to YouTube? It's Papa Shane here, and I've been waiting to drop this video for you guys. I had to use these rigs up, dirty them down just a little bit. So, we got four sandblasted rigs here that need a little TLC in this video. We're going to be bringing back that sandblasted look on all of these bad boys here and showing you guys how to do that as well. Man. Let's get started. All right, y'all. So originally, I was only going to use one type of oil to restore the look of these rigs, and it was going to be the 100% virgin coconut oil. And as you guys know, this glass hole and this Robertson are my rigs. These two are my boy John from Bliss Glass Gallery. These are his rigs. And y'all, Bliss has the drop of the glass holes. So John hit up glass hole himself and asked, what does he use to restore the look, keep it nice and fresh? For sandblasted. Boom. My boy uses mink oil. I have not used this yet, but since glass hole himself said so, we're going to use this on the two glass holes and then coconut oil on the two Robertsons. Show you the similarities, the differences. Man, it doesn't even matter. We're going to get these things nice, brand spanking new. Let's go. All right, since we we're talking about the mink oil, I guess we're going to start off with the mink oil in my rig right here. So pretty much what I do is I get me some Gloves, latex gloves, whatever, nitro gloves. Oh, it's kind of like the same thing as the coconut oil. And then really, you could get a microfiber towel, rub it on there like that, or you can just honestly just dig your fingers in. You know what I'm saying? And then do it like that with the glove. And then get you a microfiber towel at the end. So this mink oil is for leather shines up leather all that stuff pretty much all you just be generous with it y'all just want to rub that stuff in there get it nice and oily massage that thing up so for the little crevices like under the teeth and under the tongue I get a q-tip right here and oil that up and then just do the work like so like that I'm going to speed this process up. All right, she's all lathered up. Now it's pretty much damn near the same thing as waxing a car, you guys. Wax on, wax off. Get you a microfiber towel. Don't forget to get a little bit of elbow grease in there, man. Rub all that oil off. She's looking nice and pretty, man. Look at how silky smooth, shiny it looks, but yet sandblasted. Yo, this needed that. Holy cow, you guys. Beautiful. Let's get on with the next one. Ooh, doggy, Johnny, your glass hole needed that. This thing is fucking popping now. Yes, sir. Alrighty, Robertson time. I'm gonna go with my coconut oil. Same damn thing, you guys. Look at the same consistency. Pretty much be generous with it. 
And I only really need to do the giraffe parts. That's not sandblasted right there. This one's nice and easy too. Motherfucking crispy. And another cloudy Robertson giraffe. Shoo! Clean rig is a happy rig, baby. Man fucking beauties, they look brand spanking new. Hey, overall, the mink and the coconut oil works the same. But yo, four rigs, four dabs, let's go, cheers. Whoo, glass hole globbers, baby. Don, stop, Sergeant Shaky Hands on this one. I'm putting that down. Damn. Last one, we got a little terpy tasty. Come on now, it was hard to heat up four slurpers with one fucking torch, but yo, damn near did it three out of four, and y'all, I'm high as shit. These rigs are looking sexy. I'm gonna get out of here. Peace out until the next video.